currently ATCI, we're not involved in the HTS market, but in the future, it's one that's pretty interesting to us as we've kind of seen the innovations over the past five years in HTS. It's really starting to open up some markets that we didn't know about before and that we can start actively pursuing. And so, that, not that we're in it right now, but as we look to it to the future, it's one that's pretty exciting for us. You know what? OTT viewed by ETCI is probably one of the greatest opportunities for our teleport. The reasoning behind that is we've viewed ATCI's teleport more as a data center, kind of more like a data center hybrid of a teleport. And so due to the design and infrastructure we have, we've got a massive amount of bandwidth that allows us to serve our customers with OTT applications in addition to SATCOM applications. In that design as well, not only do we have multiple providers with multiple distro pops on site, but we've got a fantastic partnership with our hardware group Ebritz, so we're able to utilize their technology for OTT delivery. And we've got a fantastic partnership with several of the CDNs and cloud-based um, cloud delivery groups, such as Akamai, Amazon, Limelight, Highwinds, all these groups, we've got great partnerships. So we see ourselves kind of as a two-pronged teleport. Not only are we able to develop and deliver OTT, but we can develop and deliver that beautiful stream via satellite. So it allows our customers to see ATCI as a one-stop shop, a group that can handle all of that. We have expertise in IT, expertise in RF. So we're really, uh, it's an exciting opportunity for us when we look at OTT. You know what, we're currently not involved in the mobility market right now. It's one that we forecasted is going to be pretty happening, much as you guys are looking at. But for us, we're looking more in the Leo Mio section, kind of what we can do on that side from our teleport. You know what, we view it as an opportunity. It allows us to go out to groups that previously maybe only had the ability to do OTT delivery. And due to the infrastructure that we have and the design of our teleport data center hybrid, then now we can offer these same groups not only OTT, but due to the drop in satellite bandwidth pricing, we can provide them with a greater ability to deliver via satellite now as well. So it's an exciting time for us as we start to kind of see the prices drop. It makes our sales team and our ability to deliver just go up higher and higher every single year. So for us, things that we didn't forecast 10 years ago that we're doing now would be probably two applications that are close to my heart. One is full-on disaster recovery services, where at our data center, Teleport, that we're able to mirror sites using cloud-based technology, using the advances in broadcast on the IP side as opposed to baseband, that we can take entire systems, duplicate that at our site, shrinking it probably by a quarter at least, and providing a full-on DR system for other groups. Not only does that provide a singular DR methodology, but we have multiple tiers of that DR support that we can act almost as just a, a site across the, uh, the room, or I should say just across the way, because we're connected via 10 gig E WAN waves, which is something that we never would have thought of 10 years about doing, but provides that connectivity so we can, it's almost like working in sync with the groups that we do DR for. On a secondary notion, another one that we're involved in, I never would have thought 10 years ago we could do, which would be cloud-based head-end delivery. So we can deliver via dark fiber, we can deliver 10 gig WAN wave, we can deliver via the internet, on-demand RF downlink signals, either for primary or disaster recovery services, to our customers at head ends, cable systems, any of these DTH systems that need that satellite downlink, we can now provide that via the network. Uh, like I said, public internet, dark fiber, WAN waves on it, we can do that due to our giant capabilities of bandwidth we have on site. 
So it's an exciting time for us. I mean, 10 years ago, we probably wouldn't have forecast this, but now I think the sky's the limit, especially as we start to see that hybrid design of IT, IP, and satellite RF. It's an exciting time for ATCI.